Hello and welcome back to Digital Shading Techniques number two. So here we are at Klecky.com again and we are going to start here. So I'm going to drag in the file which you can find below on the description or what you've downloaded from the class and so you drag it here and you click as image. And then here you click yes and bingo. Here you go, shading exercises number two. So our next step, we're going to go here to the tabs of layers. And we are going to add on a couple more layers. So that's our first layer. We're going to put it there and below. And we're going to add five in total. So we have six over here. So we're going to start. Please do these in this order. So rename. And our first one is called Worksheet. Rename. The next one below is going to be Hatching. Next one, cross hatching. Our next one below, stipple. Our next one below is called random marks. I'm guessing you can see the whole pattern here. And our last one right here on the bottom is going to be called background. So while we are on our background, we're going to do our first part. We are going to make our background pure white. So we go here to brush, we choose white, and we press enter on the keyboard. And as you can see, it is white. Here we go. Now I'm going to take a little bit of advantage to quickly explain the layers. So this layer here is on the bottom. If I put this layer right here on top of the worksheet, it disappears, because obviously this is filled in with white. This one is where the worksheet is. If I bring the opacity, I can see what is behind. Okay, there we go. So, background, put 100%. And we're going to start working on the layer of hatching. So, this is going to be hatching, our first technique, which I want to explain to you. So, first, we're going to choose black. We're going to put our paintbrush on size 2. Opacity 100. I'm going to recommend you zoom in. Use your hand to navigate around the screen. There we go. So here, obviously, you can do this by hand. Okay, you have to do this with patience. And you keep them very straight. Be like Batoni up here, they're perfectly straight. Yes, well, well noticed. So over here, we're going to go to our eraser. Okay, I don't mind if you do this all by hand, but I'm going to show you the technique that I used here above. So last video I talked about this technique, where we click, shift, we keep shift pressed, and we click, and you get a perfect straight line. Click, shift pressed, there we go, and click. And this is a nice way to get these lines quickly done. So what I'm going to do over here is outside, I'm going to click, shift, Click, shift, click, click, shift, click, click, shift, click, and so forth. And all I need to do is repeat this, but slowly but surely separate these lines. So I can get this beautiful value scale by this technique. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the next one, which is cross hatching. So I'm going to click here, cross hatching to work on the correct layer. Again, my hand. I'm going to move this over here, right? And I'm going to go back to my paintbrush. Oh, that must be being naughty. Cross hatching to my paintbrush. And I'm going to use the same technique as we did above, right? So click, shift, click, click, shift, click, and I go. Uh, over here, obviously, this I'm doing this really quickly. You can do it really patiently. I did the one, all of these exercises today in the morning. Now, what we do the same here: Just click, shift, click, click, shift, click. So we can first add like this across. We're adding on cross hatching. That's the idea. So it's hatching, but we're crossing it. And then the next level, 
we do a diagonal line. So click, shift, click. All right. And as you can see, it's making this look darker. And to make it even look much more darker, again, click, shift, add on diagonals on the other way. 90 degrees from those first diagonals. And I can continue so forth, and I can do this one right there on top. Now, if I make a mistake, that's not a problem. All I have to do is click over here, undo, and there you go. You can go back. Again, you can do it. These are very simple, nice buttons that we have up here. Our next exercise, I'm going to go straight over here to stipple. No, I don't want to rename. With my hand, go back to the paintbrush. And here, you're just going to click. And basically, stipple is just a bunch of dots. Now, what makes this value scale different is that over here, where it's dark, these dots are going to be very close to each other. So here I'm clicking, right? And obviously, this one is going to be the one where you also need to be quite patient. You continue this, and you will notice that the further away you get to make the value lighter, the dots are more separated. As simple as that. All right. Now, here would be a good way to quickly to point out another shortcut. So let's say I'm busy working. All right. And then suddenly, oh, there comes a line. Yeah, it can happen. That's not a problem. Now, we can use all this way, go back to over here, and erase. All right. Back to paintbrush. Now, let's say I do this again. Oops, and it happens. Well, all I need to do is press on the keyboard E for eraser and B to go back to the brush which I was using, and I can continue. Okay, as simple as that. That's all I need to do. Now, these shortcuts are very easy to find. All you need to do is go down here where it says help, and as you can see, you can see all the shortcuts over here that I've been using to do whatever you need to do. So right over here, to do the line tool, it's hold, shift while drawing. That's what we're doing. Click, shift, click. This is this one over here. We did the eraser, which is E, the last brush, which is B, and we did fill layer with enter in the beginning to make it white. So there you go. And over here, also, you can find how to do things, how to save, browser storage. It has quite a few details, which is quite interesting, with some nice videos to help you out I recommend if you enjoy this, please go in and have a look. Close. Now we're going to finish off with our last one today, which is our last exercise for sheet number two. It is called Random Marks. Now I'm going to zoom out on this one so we can see the whole sheet. Fantastic. Okay, I like it a bit up here. We have it in the middle. Now, Random Marks again. So we're going to be over here. The layers, go to random marks, so we can see it here. Right. Our brush, again, the same size as usual. And the whole idea about this one, this one, you know, is quite fast, quite easy to do. And I would recommend it, you give it a go and just have fun. Go like this, start separating, and then come back here and then add some more. You know, random marks all over the place. You can make little ones, you can make big ones, and all you wish. And obviously, here you're going to do more, and here not so many, just a little bit, and more over here. Okay, this is one. If it doesn't happen the first time, I'll show you quickly how to fix this, and you, and you continue. If you're not happy, well, it's as simple as going over here to layers. You can delete this layer if you want to redo it right over here. That's delete. Or simply, you can just quickly make a new layer. This one bring down the opacity again, and you can make it on this one. That's the beauty about these layers, is that we can work. We can repeat. It does not affect the other layers that we've done. So this is a nice technique that you learn. Layers are amazing. They're the best friend you can have for any work you want to do digital. I mean, it's just really amazing. Then, when you are completely happy, with your whole shading, right? Oh, I said well, I'm not happy. I need to fill it out completely. All you need to do is just remember go to here to File and click Save. Right? As simple as that. It saves it 
wherever you need to or to your desktop or your downloads and then from there you submit it thank you very much for being here and um, see you guys later bye